the moment the second powerful earthquake struck southern Turkey. This concrete apartment block in Malatya, not able to withstand the earth's violent tremors. Many had already fled their homes, fearing what might happen. Kahraman Marash is at the epicenter of the disaster. Here, two children are pulled from the rubble of a collapsed building. Their parents in disbelief. The first quake struck while they were sleeping. The second came a few hours later as rescue teams scrambled to find survivors from the first. There were scenes of destruction across at least 10 cities in southeastern Anatolia. Hundreds of people were killed and thousands of homes destroyed. Uh, Afat, Turkish uh, Disaster Directorate, uh, mobilized their uh, rescue teams uh, from different provinces to the affected region. Turkish Red Crescent as well. Fire brigades, uh, municipalities, gendarmerie, uh, military uh, and uh, many other NGOs also deployed their rescue teams and Syrian rescue teams to the uh, uh, affected regions, almost uh, 10 provinces. In the city of Adana, a cherry picker was used to lift a woman from an apartment building in danger of collapse. In a national address, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the government was doing all it could to deal with the situation. Türk Silahlı Kuvvetlerimiz the Turkish Armed Forces and Emergency and Disaster Authority have been called to the affected areas. Our priority is to rescue those in need. 9,000 people are working now on the rescue efforts. Turkey declared a level 4 alarm. That means international assistance is necessary given the affected area is so large and millions of people need help. And their need is even more acute because it is winter and they are facing cold temperatures, snow and rain.